everybody, my name is Devilish and thank you so much today for joining me in the latest video. Now, I know it's been a while, it has been a really, really, really long time since I uploaded. Um, so I thought I'd come to you all today to kind of explain what's been going on. So I don't know if you've noticed from previous videos, but I've got the chair, I've got like the, the big screen behind me, um, I've also got new equipment with the computer so the first thing that I want to share I will be putting photos up and I'll probably be putting the links in the description below to all of this equipment as well but the first thing up is my computer so I'm not too sure if anybody is aware of this but with my Alienware laptop I had extreme problems with it to the point where it just it kind of blew up royally like like smoke and uh. so that was a bit of a nightmare um, and that was what I was doing all of my uh, recording on at the time so with that out of the way I was left in a bit of a predicament as to crap I need a computer <laughs> Um, so then I decided to have a look at some parts using Part Picker as well as another website and the name just does not come to me but I will probably put that down in the description as well because it gave me all of these kind of like little nit bits um, of like bits that would work together for what kind of performance I was after. So the first thing that I needed was a computer case and everybody knows I love my black and reds so I was having a look at something that kind of did the job without me having to fiddle with any kind of LED lights and it would kind of look just kind of nice and cool um, it had a lot of air ventilation so it would keep my computer cool because that was one of the big problems with my Alienware is that I just could not keep it cool enough no matter what I tried I even had like a little cooler underneath they just did not go very well so I had a look on Amazon, I had a look on the part picker, I had a look on the other website and I came up with the Corsair 780T Graphite series. Now this is an ATX gaming case, uh, so it was very big, um, I'll probably put a photo up anyway, uh, which will probably be around like here somewhere, I don't know, it might be, might be here, I'm looking at the screen, it could be here. Um, but no, it was really, really cool. Um, it looked the bill. It just, it was red and black. It had the LEDs. It had the fans at the front. It had the fan at the back. It had a lot of space, so I could put a nice big cooler in there. Um, so I went for that, uh, which comes around to about 150 pounds, roughly. So it was quite an expensive case, but in my honest opinion, it's been worth it. I've not had any single problems with it. And it looks really cool. So that's the first that's the first bill on the case so number two the second bit that i needed was the motherboard because obviously i needed to make sure that the motherboard fit and oh, you know building your new computer it's so much fun it is it's a lot of fun and i did enjoy doing it um the only thing that i didn't enjoy doing really was the cooler so the motherboard that i chose was the msi gaming z170a motherboard now this thing looked badass it just looked so cool um and the performance like i read a lot of reviews about the about the the actual motherboard itself like what it could do i didn't really want another amd motherboard because the Alienware had the AMD and I just found a lot of games were struggling with it but that's my personal preference like from now on I will never go with AMD ever again so that's the whole reason why I went with that motherboard and again check out the description or check like check out the description below and you'll find all of the links to the products did it all on amazon.co.uk but for anybody that's watching in different countries i'm sure you can find this on your amazon or on any kind of website so the third thing that i got with my computer was the intel core i5 6600 k processor it was a 3.5 gigahertz processor and it worked extremely well with the motherboard that i got um i did a lot of research about this and i think the one that i was gonna go with was um a 65,000, but it didn't work as well with my motherboard as i would have hoped so i decided to go for a little bit more expensive equipment but it works like an absolute dream so it's fantastic it's absolutely fantastic um works really well and i've not had a problem with it touch wood since so the fourth component 
was indeed the cooler, the CPU cooler. So the one that I decided to go with was indeed a water cooler instead of the normal CPU fan. And the make of the cooler was a Corsair Hydra Series H80i GT 120mm. Um, it is fantastic, however it is a pain to install. Like honestly I don't even know how people are supposed to do that on their own because I had to call my partner in and I was just like just just give me an extra set of hands please. So you've got the bit that's attached to the cooler that's in between sandwiched in between two fans and that you've got these big screws like about this big I don't know you've got you've got screws and you've got to kind of put it through the casing and you've got no way of kind of lining it all up because you can't just put it through the fan and then line up the casing because the fan is supposed to be assembled with the bit you're supposed to sandwich it all together and assemble it before you attach it to your case and I was like oh my god how am I supposed to do this so you're trying to control the fiddly bit where it attaches to the actual <laughs> processor and I'm trying not to let that touch anything so I'm having to rest that on the case and then it's falling into the case and then it's just oh my god I needed an extra set of hands for that because I genuinely was losing my tempo it took me like an hour just to install that part I hate it and I remember installing a, a CPU cooler that fan based and I was like I don't like it. I just don't like doing it. I don't like doing the cooler. The cooler can go fuck itself. So, <laughs> um, with that, the fifth component is obviously the power supply unit. Again, I went with Corsair. Like Corsair is supposed to be a really fantastic make. The power supply unit that I went with was the RM750 80 plus gold. So. I did initially go with a different one, but it did the magic smoke thing on me. Like within the first week it went poof and it stank. It stank. Like I'm not even joking about the smell people like, ugh. And I thought I'd, I was going to set my whole house alight because I was like, oh my god, what is this? Never had it happen to me before, ever, ever, ever. Um, so this was a brand new experience. So going through it, um, we had to switch out the module, modular unit, um, do all of the cables, and it was just a pain. But it's all finished, and it's been lasting... It's lasted for about... I don't know, two months, three months? Because um, I wanted to make sure that it was fully operational before I did any kind of recording. And I know that's probably a long time, but I've got a really bad history with technology, because it just does not like me. <laughs> <laughs> so, going further, our sixth component of the computer was the obvious choice of RAM. Again, I went with Corsair, um, you'll probably notice that most of this stuff is red and black, as I mentioned in the beginning, like it needed to look pristine and red and black, and obviously with computers nowadays you can get any kind of colour, you could do it light pastel blue if you really wanted to, do, probably, I don't know, someone look that up. So the RAM that I went with was Corsair Vengeance 8GB um, and I think I got two sticks of this. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a look. I'm pretty sure I got two sticks of it. So in all I've got 16GB. Um, uh, it looks cool and it was really easy to install. You just slot that baby in and then that's done. It was really easy. This was like the easiest part of it all and I was like, slid. I have actually forgotten a really important bit that's probably more important than the RAM. The graphics card. So I had to have a, a bit of a look around for one of these. I did have a look at the NVIDIA or NVIDIA. I never really know how to say that. I think I add a few letters in there and I don't really know why. But um, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970. Um, I did get this from a different website so again it's all going to be in the description below the reason why i didn't go for the 980 was because it was practically double the price um for kind of like a, a negligible i would say i would say i mean people might disagree with me but i would say a negligible performance uh difference because for the money that you're paying i think the 970 is a fantastic way to go because you're just I don't know, it's just, it's what practically most games recommend nowadays. Um, and if I wanted to upgrade, I could always slot it in, I guess. But the, G, the, the GeForce 970 is probably better value for your money. So I went with that. 
um, and that's all slotted in that fit lovely and it works really well with the processor works really well with the um, the motherboard and it works really it just works well on a whole um, so lastly it's more aesthetic than anything um, and then I got myself a nice little speed link gaming mouse that lit up nice and red and black I got my keyboard that again lit up red and black um, and I think with the processor as well oh that's a really good point actually i it was a thermal compound uh, by arctic cooling gel that i decided to solidify everything with just to make sure uh, it was really good reviews and touch wood again <laughs> touch wood i've touch wood i've not had any problems with it um and my computer runs like an absolute dream. Additionally, along with the aesthetics, I decided to get myself another monitor. Um, I was using a Samsung monitor, um, which is fantastic, but then because I decided, well, because it's a new computer, I thought, oh, well, I'll have another go, um, and I'll have another one. So I bought the Aces PB238Q 23-inch widescreen. Um, it is a fantastic screen, and I would highly, highly recommend it but that's all for the computer part so I wanted to let you know what exactly what I was doing what kind of equipment I'm using as well uh, because we've upgraded like across the board um, and everything runs super smooth now there's games that I can run which I couldn't do on my laptop I mean there have been other things going on in the background which is probably why I haven't been so um, active in uploading I've tried to be active with the streams and I really do apologize to all of you that have been waiting for any kind of videos or even if you haven't been waiting for videos I'm really sorry that I haven't actually managed to do any content for you um, but hopefully months going forward everything's going to be smooth sailing and there's going to be more content and regular uploads so thank you guys so much for staying with me on my channel it really 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 means a lot and it does help out the channel a great deal you have no idea how much i'm really glad to be back and doing videos and just like seeing all your lovely faces again in the comment section so it'd be really nice if you just drop me a line and if you have liked this video then please say hello like drop me a comment um, there's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram links as well, all on the all on the website. Website? All on the end of the video. And there's annotations and links in the description as well as the end of this video. So guys, we'll see you in the next one. But thank you for so much for checking this out. Bye-bye! to a new series on the channel. This is Klonoa. I um, think I'm pronouncing that right. Just... The sounds not enjoying so much. Not enjoying so much.